Spider Cube Color Control by Balancing Light. The Spider Cube captures color temperature and light source data for accurate raw adjustments and more dependable color. This pocket sized raw calibration tool surpasses white balance and gray card solutions and can be hung in any environment or mounted to a tripod. Spider Cube is designed to help you calibrate your raw images by determining optimal adjustments to the key controls in raw conversion software. Its multi sided construction allows special attention to highlights and shadows and contains more features for image control than a gray card or white balance tool. The chrome ball on top of Spider Cube measures catch lights to analyze specular highlights. The white face defines highlights in relation to catch lights. The gray faces measure color temperature and midtone response. The black face defines shadows in relation to the black trap. The black trap itself defines absolute black. Place the cube in the lighting conditions under which you will be photographing. Orient the cube so that the lower black face, containing the black trap, is at the bottom front and the two split white-gray faces are both visible. Take a photograph that includes the cube. This photo will capture important information about the shooting conditions to be used in making basic raw adjustments. Open the image containing the spider cube in your raw conversion software. In this example, will show how to adjust the raw image using Adobe Lightroom. Use the white balance tool, sometimes called the gray balance tool, which is typically an eyedropper to set the color temperature. This will also set the tint if your software includes tint adjustment. Set by clicking on the gray section of one of the split faces. Choose the brighter face as it represents your primary light source. Adjust exposure so that none of the color channels are clipped in your raw converter's histogram. Keep an eye on the cube in the image for reference as you make this adjustment. Next, Brightness can be adjusted to compensate for any lightening or darkening that occurred during the exposure adjustment. Check the RGB values of the gray face under the primary light source. This face is 18% gray and can be used to determine how light or dark image midtones should be. Finally, set your black levels using the black level eyedropper if your software offers one and clicking on the black trap. If your software does not have a black level dropper, set the black slider to show a clear distinction between the black in the black trap and that of the surrounding black face. In this example, we'll show how to make the same set of adjustments to our image in Photoshop's Camera Raw plugin. Once again, we'll click on the white balance tool and then move the white balance tool to the brighter of the two gray sections on the spider cube. and then set the color temperature and tint adjustments by clicking. As we did in Lightroom, we'll adjust exposure to brighten the image. We'll watch both the spider cube and the histogram display to prevent clipping at the right edges of the color channels.
Then we'll adjust brightness to compensate for mid-tone lightning that took place when we adjusted the exposure. Finally, we'll adjust the black slider to darken the absolute black in the black trap while still maintaining a clear distinction between the black trap and the surrounding black face.